guys, this is Dr. Carla. Today I'm going to talk about a few things on why the barbell could be the absolute best training tool for you or why it could be the worst. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm a huge fan of the barbell both personally and professionally, but let's first talk about why barbell training might not be for you. Um, first and foremost, if you don't have adequate range of motion, so you either need to put it on your back rack, your front rack, overhead, if your wrists don't go into extension very well, if your shoulders don't go into a front rack very well, or you can't properly extend over your head and you're in front and you can't get proper alignment or in order to do so, you're arching, those would be reasons why I would say you are not ready for a barbell and you need to work on range of motion first. Here's the deal. If you have an, a barbell, which you can put more weight on because it can technically close the chain and be closed torque, you're going to risk your injury and it's going to go way up. Um, one of the reasons why it could be the worst thing, uh, if you are an impatient person, barbell work, specifically the Olympic lifts, takes a lot of time to learn the technique. Uh, and that is really crucial. This is usually something I would recommend learning from a coach, not just by you, like YouTubing it. Um, be careful on what you see out there. So get a certified coach. Um, because if you don't take time to learn technique, again, you risk injury and then what's the point of actually using it? Um, this is one of the reasons why it can also be the worst is because you have plenty of space to load more weight. More weight under improper technique or improper range of motion also leads to increased injury. Um, let's say we're back squatting. Um, if you don't know how to bail, that could also be a problem because there's increased weight. And the other reason is, is if you rely on this barbell for stability. So with a bar, I create torque. So I could create torque and stability because I'm closing the chain, which means my arms and my body and my bar close that circuit. Whereas if I'm going to press literally the same amount of weight overhead, like I have pretty good stability, so I'm able to hold this. But if this is a hard position for you to lock out, Maybe it would be better to train with dumbbells first before you would jump to the bar. So I know I said it's one of my favorite training tools. So here's why I think it is the best for certain people. Um, because you can create torque and you can create that closed chain, you actually have the ability to lift more weights, which means you can improve strength far easier, which means you can improve power output far easier. I think it's the best is because you have to learn technique. You have to learn form and technique and be able to use it to your advantage, which if you have better um, coordination, that seems to work out well for people. Um, you have to use a lot of core to extremity, whether you're pressing overhead, you have to have your core tight. Whether you're doing a clean, you have to have your core tight. Whether you're doing a front squat, core tight, or deadlift, Core tight. So they are core to extremity movements because we are engaging this pretty much all the time. So some pros and cons of why I think the barbell is the best or would be the worst training tool. So figure out which one of those people you are and then maybe migrate towards that. Good luck.